Wild Show, where we only report the good news. Our news story today comes from Phoenix, Arizona, titled, Frank Cheatham, Fire Deputy, Suing City of Phoenix Because Pasta Prank Amounting to Alleged Sexual Harassment. The article is about a firefighter who sues the city because he was demoted in his job. The reason for his demotion in his job was because he was complaining about the other firefighters for the type of pasta they were eating at the station. Now this kind of pasta was not appropriate for the workplace due to its unusual shape. The best term to give it would be phallic fettuccine. In order to protect the minds of our younger viewers, as they are rather innocent in comparison to ours, I will just describe this type of pasta as one that is best served with extra sausage and meatballs. A type of pasta that is best swallowed whole. A type that is... well, you get it. So as you can tell, the man was getting rather worked up about this as the behavior was rather inappropriate taking place around him. My only logical reasoning as to why it would have bothered him so was well, maybe the pasta was actual size. After all, that is a huge reason as to why men grow rather irate. Although I'm not one to usually be grossed out by this type of thing, I can kind of understand why the man was kind of weirded out by this shape of pasta. <sighs> it all goes back to my childhood. There were several days when I was a child when my father would be gone, and my mother would cook this exact kind of pasta for herself to eat. I blame the reason why I am the way I am, based on her decision to do that. Back to the story. The man ended up getting his position back at the fire station, and everything turned out alright. Showing that no matter how stupid the reason, people will always do whatever you want if you threaten to sue them. If you would like to read the entire news article, Please click on the link in the description box below. If you would like to suggest another news story for the next episode, please leave it in a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching The Reginald Show, where we only report the good news. Well, that is all for today. I'm going to go ask Jackson Witzel why he chose this particular news story in general, as it is not what I consider to be positive news. You think he'll ever figure out that we were the ones who changed the script? Nah. Wait, how'd you find that news article anyway? Uh...